Good morning all. This is my hygrometer project. It's uh, got a temperature and humidity sensor, the SI7021. It's that little black square with the white cover on it. And it's got an OLED. And on the OLED we have displayed uh, humidity, 52.7% relative humidity. And temperature, it's 23 degrees Celsius. And uh, it's a great little project, powered by a 9 volt battery. Um, it's just not very compact, it's all a bit spread out. And what I'd like to do is compact it, miniaturise it, and turn it into something really neat. Now the first thing I can do is get rid of this uh, level shifting board, this little board here on the right, because it's not needed, because the sensor board has the level shifting components on the back, so I'm level shifting twice, completely unnecessary. In fact, I'm quite surprised it works. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put this sensor board on the front of the display. The only problem is the pin arrangement is different. This one is VIN ground SCL SDA, and this one is ground VCC SCL SDA. If only the display was VCC ground SCL SDA. Well, that should be solved by this. I've just bought a new OLED, so let's take a look at that. Aha, yes, this new one, VCC ground, SCL, SDA. VCC and ground are swapped over, so that lines up completely with the little humidity sensor. Uh, here it is, VCC ground, SCL, SDA. So, let's remove that humidity sensor from these bits of wire and solder it right onto the front of this OLED display board whilst also attaching the supplied 4-pin header that came with the OLED. Well, I can't remember what project this was. 74S175. No recollection of that, but I just want to uh, use it to uh, mount the OLED so that I can solder these pins. And I don't want too much excess solder here. I want that to soak in to the through holes, which I think it's done. So those two are probably good enough. Actually, I'll put a little bit of solder on the middle too, because I'm not sure how well the sensor's gonna sit on there. Okay, let's desolder the sensor from its uh, current connector. Now, there's just a tiny little problem. There's a little capacitor on the back of the sensor board, which is stopping me pushing the sensor board uh, right down onto the display board. So I'm just going to carve a little bit of the um, fiberglass of the display board away so that I can just push that sensor board fully home. Right, there it is sitting flat on the display board and a full alignment between VCC, ground, SCL and SDA. I'm just going to touch the soldering iron with a bit of solder onto these points to uh, firmly attach it and then I can attach these wires to the Arduino. Right, that's my new display and sensor. Now the wires that went to the old sensor can come out. I don't need those anymore. They're just duplicates of these four, which are VCC ground, SCL and SDA. Now I've just got to remember that VCC and ground are the other way on this display. Uh, which side shall I turn them around? I really ought to have ground as black. So perhaps I'll turn them around at the display end and plug them into the new display. Right, there they are, VCC and ground swapped over to match the new alignment. Is it going to work? Completely live test, I haven't checked this. Oh, it's blue, I thought it was white. But yes, that works fine. Gosh, the uh, humidity has gone right down, I think because I was soldering the connections on that board and it's got very warm and the humidity sensor has probably dried out a bit. It will take a bit of time to adjust. But yeah, that works fine. Display and humidity sensor all in one. Well, that's stage one of my miniaturization, but there is more that can be done. And uh, that is to get rid of the Arduino Uno and replace it with this. This is an Arduino Pro Mini now, I've also soldered on a 4-pin connector to uh, VCC ground, SCL and SDA. Um, I had to sort of bend pins a bit to get them into VCC ground, SCL and SDA. 
SEL and SDA, of course, are A4 and A5. Uh, ground, I had to actually scrape a bit of the backplane away on this board, and VCC, I had to just bend it in and pick it up there. But yeah, that's a little four pin connector, which will take that OLED directly. Let's see what it looks like. So that plugs directly into there like that. And that's the new hygrometer. Just a really thin sandwich of the display, the sensor and the Arduino. Now my plan is to cut these wires and stick that on the front of there. And that's going to be the project. Right, the next thing I have to do is program the Pro Mini. Uh, this is a 5 volt, 16 megahertz Pro Mini. Uh, so I want my little programmer, my CH340, switched to 5 volts. And now I've got to link up uh, VCC Ground, TX, RX, and DTR, which is reset, which will go to the reset pin. Let's do that now. Right, I think this is right. I think GRN Green uh, is reset because it's got the little... 100 nanofarad capacitor there and that's very near reset and I think I can see a trace running out there so I think green is reset so that's my purple that goes to DTR RX and TX are crossed over TX and RX VCC and ground are split on the programmer board but are next to each other on the Pro Mini right let's see if I can program it right let's hit upload on the Arduino I've pre-compiled it because compilation seems to take forever these days. That says it's uploading. Got a flickering light there. But uh, as usual, some problems. Oh, I just literally hit the camera uh, stop recording button and it came up. So that's working fine. So that's it really. Uh, all that this is doing now is providing power. To this little module. So that's uh, working for humidity and temperature, that's good. Now all I need to do is find an alternative uh, power, which is going to be the 9 volt battery box, this thing. Uh, cut the wires and attach them into these end two points on the Arduino. I'll just uh, unhook all this. Yeah, so my 9 volt wires want to go to these two points here, raw and ground. Uh, raw is on the input side of the voltage regulator here. So that'll regulate the 9 volts down to 5 volts for the CPU. Uh, so yeah, just a case of cutting those two wires, poking them through these two holes, uh, sticking this onto the end of the battery box with a bit of double-sided sticky pad, and we're good to go. Right, I found this bit of uh, double-sided sticky pad. I'm not sure quite where this came from. I think probably from one of my PIR sensor lights or something like that. But that's going to be fine. So I'll just cut that to size and stick it on the back of the Arduino, missing all my solder points. Right, let's peel off that cover and stick it on here. Now I want it uh, reasonably central for the display but at the same time, I want to be able to get to the um, programming pins. So let's put it about there, I guess. Oops, straighten it up a bit. Yeah, I think that looks about right. And then uh, cut these wires and run them up the side and put them into those two end holes there. Right, let's just tin these two wires before I poke them through their respective holes. And then we can power up the hygrometer. Right, let's uh, peel the front off the display now. We don't need that anymore. Uh, attach the display to the socket. I should say the display and sensor. So that just hangs there. I've still got access to the programming pins and also the reset button is accessible if I need that. Okay, let's power it up. See if it works. Try and get the pins to line up. Yay! There it is. My portable miniaturized hygrometer. That's rather nice. 
Well, it's certainly a lot more pack compact than the gangly old thing that was on the uh, Arduino Uno. The uh, Pro Mini Hygrometer is, uh, is really rather neat. Let's see how it compares with uh, one of the cheap $2 hygrometers I bought on eBay recently. Well, okay, it's not quite as neat as uh, these little tiny ones that you can uh, get on eBay. But, well, I built it myself. And that's much more important. Now there's another major issue here and that is that these have been sitting for weeks with their tiny little button cells running perfectly happily. I estimate that this probably won't run for more than about four or five hours because the CPU running at 16 megahertz, far faster than is actually necessary, is going to gobble up battery power uh, way before these things run out. So that's perhaps the next thing to address um, with this project, maybe slowing the CPU frequency down. Of course, that'll mean um, reburning the fuses, which is a bit more complicated. But uh, no, for a moment, I'm happy. And I'm just going to blow on that sensor to see if that uh, humidity value goes up. And uh, yeah, 45 climbing up to 46%. So it works. So uh, I'm rather pleased with that, my new miniaturized uh, Arduino Pro Mini based hygrometer with the three electronics boards all sandwiched together as close as you can possibly get them and still have a plug and socket so that you can take the display and sensor off. I might um, make some more display and sensor combinations with the other sensors that I bought, uh, things like the SHT30 and the BME. 280 so that I can try different sensors out. But uh, for the moment, that's it. That's the miniaturized Arduino hygrometer. Right, on with the uh, robot build. And I have to put this piece, B12, into one of these uh, motor shells, B7. Well, there's B12 and there's the two shell pieces. However, I'm a little bit concerned because further on, uh, I have to put another B12 into B6, which is the other half of the motorized shell. And I can't find another B12. It seems to have gone missing. Right, so B12 goes in there. That seems to turn all right. This uh, half is B7. And then it looks like B9, which is one of these gear wheels. Is that B9? Yeah, that's B9. Some of them have actually got it printed on. You can see B9 there. Uh, that fits onto there. Uh, that's interesting. That just locks solid. So maybe that has an alternative use uh, for one of the other models. Oh, uh, hello, girl. You daft apath. What are you going to lose parts for? You're not going to be able to finish it now. Well, I hope I can find it. I'm going to have a serious look for it. So if you enjoyed this hygrometer video, uh, another couple of videos up here which you might want to watch. Uh, if you want to subscribe to this channel, click my up-to-date face. And uh, my 15-year-old face takes you through to Julian's Reviews, my other channel. Like or dislike with the buttons below. Cheerio.